been a bad, bad day from the moment I awoke. I lost my hat, tripped over my cat, and then my leg got broke. What? Station Officer Steele has got his head stuck in the railings too? But, but Sam and Penny aren't back yet. I'm the only one here. I can't do anything. Or can I? Someone's in trouble. I've got to do something! Nina, 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 Nina... <gasps> Look! It's Elvis! Crittington! <laughs> Reporting for duty, ready and able. Oh! Goodness! No problem. I'll soon have you out. Trevor, get me the pneumatic pump. It's in the back of Venus. Oh, OK, Elvis. Um, women and children first. Oh, my little angel. You are safe. Now I need you to free me from my mom. Oh, I say. Ah, that's the ticket. Good man. Um, let's uh, keep this to ourselves, eh, Gridlington? Righty ho, Station Officer Steele. Everything all right? Oh, yes. Everything's fine, thanks to Elvis. He's a hero, Sam. What a fabulous fireman. Fireman Crillington is always ready and able, Sam. Even with a broken leg. Tom has sighted an emergency flare, Sam. Somebody must be in trouble on the cliffs. Tom will be there in the chopper. Goodness, there's Tom. Here's Fireman Sam! It's Penny! She's stuck at the cliff! You have to help her! Don't worry, Mandy. We'll save her. Tom, lower the double harness! No worry, Sam. Coming right up. Off the lead down. OK, Tom. Take it up. Slowly now. And well done for not letting it off. Congratulations, Mandy. You're a hero. Oh, uh, well, I said right from the start that we shouldn't let it off. No way. After all, it's not the firework, you know. What I still don't understand is how that flare ended up in the field. It's a real mystery, isn't it? There's the answer to your mystery, Tom. Nipper obviously likes bangers. <laughs> Stand well back, everyone. Leave it to the professionals. Sam and Penny are on their way.
much, Sam and Penny. I had no idea a compost heap could be so dangerous. That's why I advised Mike to dig it over and let it cool down. Mike? Uh, yes, it's true. Mandy kept reminding me too, but I wouldn't listen. I suppose I thought I knew better. But how come the fire started all by itself? When Mike picked the marrow, it created a hole, you see. The compost was already very hot, and when air got into the hole, it started the fire. Oh, I'm sorry, everyone. I so wanted this show to be a success, and now I've ruined everything. No, you haven't, Dad. I love you, kid. The flowers and vegetables are still intact, aren't they? Oh, yes, sir. Apart from Mrs. Tomato. Great! Then let's get on with the judging. The winner is... The Mustard and Cress, grown by James and Sarah. Yay! Yay! But that's not all. There's an extra prize for the funniest entry. <laughs> the stuck-on tomato plant in the fire bucket. <laughs> Who won that prize, then? Uh, you did, I'm afraid, sir. I'm ever so sorry, but I had a bit of an accident. You what? Oh, Cridlington! Sam's here! We can go home! I'm starving! Is everyone okay? Oh, Sam! I've never been so purified! Okay, uh, let's get you back on the road. Um, where's Trevor? He went for help. Such bravery. He left the bus. I'll see if I can reach him. There's no signal. Trevor could be anywhere out there. Elvis, could you attach the tow rope to the bus while I call Tom? Right to Sam. Tom, it's Sam. Trevor Evans is out here somewhere. We're going to need your help to find him. Don't worry, Sam. But I'm going to need someone up here with me. You can count on me, Tom. OK, Sam. We're ready. Oh, oh, oh. oh we're free. Shame we haven't got a driver. I've got a dog. A big one, see? Woof! Woof! Ah! Oh! Oh! oh, Lion! What are you doing all the way out here? <laughs> there! Look down there! Looks like he's stuck in the bog. Well spotted. Looks like I'm gonna have to lie you down with a double harness, Sam. Ready when you are, Tom. Trevor! Uh, yes, Lion kept me company. I should have taken everyone's advice and stayed on the bus. Well, at least you're all safe and sound. And it looks like we've caught the wild beast of Ponty Pandy, too. Hey, Norman. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go home. Trevor, why don't you have supper with me and Norman? Uh, Look out! Whoa! That was close. I wonder if those sheep have got something to do with the emergency. Any idea where Mandy and Norman were going, Helen? Mandy said just over the fields. Oh. Radar wants us to follow. I'll take the ambulance. Somebody might be hurt. Oh, 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 Sam, over here. That's Mike's van. Well done. Mike, are 
Are you okay? I I'm fine, Helen. I just can't get out. The passenger door is still stuck. Oh, Mike. Okay, everyone, stand well back. Penny, run a hose round to the front of Mike's van in case anything catches fire. We'll have to cut you free, Mike. Penny, fetch the jaws of life. How did it happen? Something to do with a couple of runaway sheep, I shouldn't wonder. Yes, I was trying to herd them into their pen. With radar, eh? I said he wasn't a sheepdog. I know. Here, Mike. Give me your hand. Oh, oh thanks, Sam. Oh, dear. I wish I could make things better. I'd better call the station and warn them about the sheep. <laughs> well? Good news. Mike Flood had the emergency and he's safe now. Well done, Radar, eh? What a <laughs> hero. Sam did say something about runaway sheep. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, sir. My hiccups? They're cured. Mike said I needed a fright. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> ooh, a, a fire at Mike Flood's house? <laughs> There's a fire at the Flood's house, quick as you can! Is it Mike Flood's bonfire, sir? Probably. I expect it's got out of control. We're supposed to be going there after we come off duty. Yes, so uh, I might as well come with you. Well... The bonfire, is it, Mike? No, the fire's in the sitting room. Breathing apparatus on then, men. <sighs> the fire's out. You were lucky it wasn't worse. Thanks, Sam. Thanks so much. Do you know how it started? It was my fault. I put a cloth over the pumpkin to make it look like the ghost of Ponty Pandy. And actually, Sam, I left the candle burning. <sighs> you shouldn't go out and leave a candle burning. And you should never put a cloth over a naked flame. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do it. I just wanted to win the spooking competition, that's all. It was an accident, Norman. We understand. But I'm afraid the fire's made quite a lot of mess. I'll clear it all up. I'll help. And me. Why don't we all help? Great. Thanks, everyone. And remember, Norman, there's a time and a place for spooking people. OK, Sam. I promise... Right now! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think we have a winner. <laughs> 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 Look, I'll do this one last emergency. Then I'll go home. OK. I've never heard it so busy. It's no good, Radar. I can't stay away a moment longer. You could do this, Penny. You can do this. You can do it. <laughs> Oh, it's no good. I'm putting everyone at risk. I'm really sorry, sir, but I, I'm too ill to do this rescue. You'll have to bring Sam in. 
Okay, Penny, just stay where you are. Help is on its way. Elvis, tell Tom to bring the helicopter down to the quayside. I'll get Sam to meet him there. Will do, sir. Sam! Yes, sir? Ah! What? Oh, my word, that was quick. I'm reporting for duty, sir. What's the emergency? Why has Neptune stopped? Something's wrong. What's the matter? Are you hurt? No. Um, I think I got a fever. Uh, uh, Let's get you off here. Sorry for the delay. Penny's been taken ill. Oh. Will she be okay? She'll be fine. Now, let's get that propeller untangled and tow you back to shore. I'm so sorry. I should have stayed at home today. Though I admire your sense of duty, you risk putting yourselves and others in danger. I know. I won't do it again, sir. And I'm sorry, Sam, for calling you in on your day off. I was on my way in any way. It's hard to stay away when you've got the best job in the world. You're right there, Sam. Sam Choo! Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Calm, Trevor. You're not scared of heights. You can do this, boy. Mustn't let the kids down. Just attach the safety wire. OK, here I go. One, two, three. Oh! 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 Oh, no! Help! I'm stuck! Get me down! Oh, dear! This is all your fault, Help. Norman Price! Uh, oh, I'll run up to the mountain rescue center and tell Tom. He'll call Fireman Sam. Norman Price? What are you playing at? Trevor's in trouble at the Mountain Rescue Centre. What? Trevor in trouble? OK, we're on our way. I can't hang on much longer. OK, Trevor, let go and we'll catch you. That was awesome! Are you all right, Trevor? Oh, I think so. Wow! A triple somersault! How cool is that? Wasn't Trevor brilliant? What do you think, Norman? I'm sorry I doubted you, Trevor. I just wanted to be the leader. I'm sure one day you will be, Norman. You know, I think you're the best leader we've ever had, uh, apart from Sam. <laughs> well, I don't like to blow my own trumpet. Oh, you forgot your packed lunch. Yay! Yay! So, how's it all be going then? Trevor was really brave, ma'am. You should have seen him up there on the zip wire. Oh, I missed all the fun. Do it again, Trevor. I'd love to see you in action. <laughs> hey, can I have your autograph, Elvis? Oh, uh, sure, James. Oh, I see you've got Sam's name on here, too. Yeah, well, he does save people every day. And he gets to drive around in Jupiter. Still, no more of that for you, eh? Uh, no. 
I suppose not. Sam! Stop! What's the emergency? There's some trees on fire in the forest. We're worried it might spread. Oh, it sounds serious. Maybe I should come along and help. Well, what about your TV show? Uh, I'm a fireman first, remember? Fireman Sam! And here comes Tom! Cool! Everybody okay? I'm feeling a bit weak. A sandwich might help. Oh, not now, Norman. I guess it's too late to get to your TV show now. Not if you go by helicopter. Jump in, Elvis! Wow, fantastic. Just like a real superstar. Elvis, wait! Don't forget this. Good luck. We'll all be watching you. Thanks. I'll be back on duty tomorrow morning. It's a scarlet crested waggle warbler. Don't move, Norman. And now, all the way from Pontypandy, Mr. Elvis This one's for all my pals back in Pontypandy. Uh, especially Fireman Sam and Penny, and of course, Station Officer Steel, the best workmates in the world. Did you hear that, everyone? He said my name. I sing my song still, I think I'll burst, but I never forget that I'm a fireman first. A ding-a-ling, a ding-a-ling, -a just one more burst. Everybody knows that I'm a fireman first. Oh, that's my boy. <laughs> the map I made would have taken Derek this way. He must be around here somewhere. We'd best turn the siren off, in case he's calling for help. Help! 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 Oh, listen, I think I can hear him. That ledge is unstable. We'll have to get him off as quick as we can. We'll work as a team. It'll be just like when we rescued your key, Elvis. Only this time, I'll be the hook. Right, Elvis, you control the winch, and Penny, you give him directions. OK, Fireman Sam. OK, slowly, Elvis. He's nearly there. Now, hold on to me, Derek. We'll be up in no time. Oh, thank you. He's got him, Elvis. Now bring him up. Nice and easy. There we are. Safe and sound. Norman, haven't you got something to say to Derek? Sorry, Derek. I made up the story about the flowers and I tricked you with the map. I just wanted Mum to think I was her only little treasure, not you. That's OK. I understand. It was quite fun, really. You forgive me? Ah! <laughs> cool! You've got a hand buzzer! Come on, you two jokers. Let's get you home. And let's get back to my cake.
bite the cake. Ah, there you are, Gridlington. I just wanted to thank you for that splendid chocolate cake you left me. But I didn't... It took me a while to eat the whole lot, but it was worth every chocolatey mouthful. <laughs> uh. Sooner than you thought. I just hope there's some left. I think we're going to need two hoses for this one, Penny. OK, Sam. OK, Elvis, turn on the water. <gasps> oh, Sam, look, there's one of those gas canisters. It might explode. Well spotted, Elvis. Keep everyone at a safe distance while we get the blaze under control. Right you are, Sam. Everyone back, please. Penny, keep spraying the gas canister to keep it cool while I put out the rest of the fire. Don't worry, Sam. I'm on it. There. All out. See if there are any sausages and king prawns left, Fireman Sam. Sorry, Norman. Gas canisters can stay hot for a very long time. It won't be safe to go over there for quite a while yet. Oh, I'll just have to take the rest of my sausages home. And I'll have to take my king prawns. But I'm so hungry. I never even got a sniff of those sausages or the prawns. Maybe next time you should set your barbecue away from the trees. And maybe a little less charcoal? Well, you're right there, Sam. Oh, it was my fault too, Trevor. I was showing off a bit. Now no one can have my sausages. Or my king prawns. Wait a minute. That oil drum has given me an idea. There you go. One barbecue. Perfect for sausages and king prawns. But this time, you'll have to cook together. No worries. Thanks, Fireman Sam. i got to give it to you, mate. Those sausages do smell good. Well, so do your king prawns. Maybe we can both be the barbecue champions of Ponty Pandy. <laughs> Bonds are idea, mate. Oh, are the sausages nearly ready? Oh. <laughs> Lion's trapped in a flooded basement and Mike's in there with him. Well, get me out of here, and we'll go and rescue him. Uh, uh, the door seems to be stuck. Penny's right. I can't move it either. I could always use the axe. No, no, no. Uh, don't worry about me. Go and rescue Mike. The public always comes first. Well, if you're sure, sir. Come on, then. Let's go. Good luck. <laughs> I hope Mike's OK. I need him to sing harmony with me. Don't worry, Elvis. I'm sure he'll be as good as ever. Follow me. Right. He's in here, is he? OK, Mike, I need you to stand back. I'm going to break the door down with my axe. R right you are, Sam. Jump in here, Lion. It'll keep you dry. Shouldn't you shut off the water? I'll get the pump ready. One thing at a time. The first thing we need to do is make sure Mike is safe. Mike, are you a safe distance back yet? Uh, yes, Sam. Grab my arm, Mike. Well done, Sam. Oh, Lion is safe. You did stay very calm. And you did one thing at a time. Oh, I wish I'd done that. I wouldn't have got into such a mess. Don't worry. At least you're safe. Yes. Thank you, Fireman Sam. Come on, Mike. Let's go and do our duet. <laughs> 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 
Uh, wait a minute, Elvis. One thing at a time, remember? Yes, I I'll shut the water off at the mains. Elvis, can you help me get the pump to pump out all this water? And I'll go and get old Mrs Steele out of the <laughs> cupboard. <laughs> then we can all meet at the quayside for Elvis and Mike's big number. Boys, come, hey, come on, on Elvis! Elvis. Hey. Go like the rock gods! Very hey. good! Come on, boys! Splish, splash, I'm, I'm having a wash. Splash, splish, I feel like a fish. Splish, splash, I'll be out in a flash. We're doing a splish, splash, shimming, splish, splash, splash. Hooray! 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 Well done, boys! <laughs> I mean, well done, men. Pretend you are putting out a big fire. I mean a really big one. Oh, ah, uh, like this? Could you maybe put a bit more oomph into it? Get out, fire! Get out! <laughs> That's it. Uh, what about using the fire axe next? I can slide down the pole if you'd like. <laughs> <gasps> Excellent. Good idea. <laughs> It's time now, Mandy. It's where it belongs. Bye! And thanks! No problem, Mandy. OK, Mandy. Let's go back to my house and see who got the most creatures from the rock pools. Like we don't know already. What do you want to do? <laughs> they can't talk, Mandy. Hello? I'm still the winner, though, OK? Whatever! At last, a proper photograph of the Punty Paddy Fire Brigade. Um, <laughs> sorry, everyone. I seem to have run out of film. But you only just put the new one in this morning. What have you been taking pictures of then, Trevor? Well, uh, we took lots is of. That, oh, uh, is that the phone? Yes. Go uh, back to the station and get help. Hurry, Sam! Hello, Fireman Sam. I was just. Oh, sorry, James. Emergency. I'll bring it right back. Wow. Oh, I don't understand it. I thought we'd be rushed off our feet today. Oh, dear. That's not a very dignified way for a firefighter to spend his day off. No time to explain, sir. There's a fire at Dillis' supermarket. A fire? Ah, oh, action stations at last. I'd love to have a go on one of these. <laughs> oh, thank goodness you are back, Sam. Wow! Look, 
at all that smoke! It smells like summer meadows! Elvis, switch the electricity off. Okay, Sam. Shame all fires don't smell this nice, eh, Penny? So, did you get all your jobs done, Sam? No, no, I didn't. Uh, but I saved Mike from the roof, I stopped a runaway bus, I freed Norman from the cement, I ran and skateboarded all the way back to the station to sound the alarm, and I helped put out a fire. Oh, so that's why we didn't have any emergencies today. Yes, Sam was dealing with them all. Well, you know what they say. A good fireman is never off duty. Oh, Sam, we've been having a little chat. Since you gave up your day off to help us, now we'd like to help you. I'll paint your front door, Sam. No problem. And I'll do all your ironing. And Norman here will be digging your vegetable patch for the next three months. Aw, oh, Mum! That's wonderful. Thanks, everyone. Uh, Fireman Sam, when can I have my skateboard back? Your skateboard? In all the excitement, I nearly forgot. I'll just pop back to the station and... Oh, oh, help me! I, I, I can't stop! Oh, As I was saying, a good oh, fireman is never off duty. <laughs> Don't worry, sir! I'm coming to get you! <laughs> <laughs> if you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be there to help you out. So move aside, make way for fire.